Hey, welcome back to a cool tutorial episode on how to stonewash finish knives. Some of you may have seen stonewash finish on my knives before and stonewashing finish in general is a really popular knife finish for tactical knives or just for outdoor um, hunting type knives. It's a really durable, really cool looking finish. Basically it involves etching a knife and then tumbling it. So I'm gonna take you through how I personally stonewash knives. First of all, before you even get started with the actual finishing with acid and tumbling, you need to have the knife up to the appropriate grit. If you don't take the knife up to a high enough grit before you etch and tumble, then you see those grit lines and it just looks sloppy. What I have found on knives is that you need to be taking your blade up to at least 320 grit. 220 shows and really anything below 320 will show those grind lines. These blades that I've got here are already up to a high enough grit. So what I'm going to be doing is first of all, degreasing them because the next step is acid etching. And if there's of course any oils or layout dye or anything like that on the blade, it will show up. So make sure that this is nice and clean. Use denatured alcohol or acetone, something like that. Now that I've got this knife degreased, it's time to actually start the etching. Now this is a ferric chloride um, acid and it's diluted about three parts water, one part acid. I'm gonna lay this in here and I'm going to make sure that I don't or try to make sure that I don't really etch the uh, tang so much. It's okay if it does get etched a little bit for this type of knife, but all we need is the blade. So I'm going to leave that in there for about five minutes and then come back and check on it. Now that this has been etching for a little bit, you can see it's obviously turned much darker. I'm going to use this, uh, it'll come out. Come on. I should have tested this before we started filming. Anyways, we'll just rinse it off in water. And you see the, um, when I rub it, the black oxides come off a little bit. Here's the, here's the other side. So I'm going to rub that stuff off. You can do this just with gloved hands or with paper towel, something like that, but do it in the water like so. Try to get all of it pretty even. This gives us a, a nice matte, kind of gray finish. Now from here, we can start tumbling if you want to, but to get um, the look that I want, I want a little bit of a darker finish on the blade before I start tumbling. Create a little bit more of a contrast. And the way that I do that is simply go in for another etching cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and degrease this again. Use some denatured alcohol. Get that water and anything else that happened to just get on there off. That's degreased again now. We're gonna go back into the acid for another few minutes. We are now ready to pull it out after the second etch. Been in here for about five minutes or so. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing as last time. Wipe off those black oxides. 
just by hand or with paper towel or something. You can do this a third time, um, but you just want to make sure that you're not etching, you're not over etching. Just one etching is all you need. It just depends if you want to go a little bit darker than you can. And also a second etching cycle can kind of even things out if you missed a spot when you were degreasing or something like that, any weird areas, the second etch can even that out. Got that cleaned off. I'll put a little bit of WD on here just so we can see nice color that we got going on. And we are ready to tumble. And you can actually see here, or whenever you do this yourself, if you know if that second or third etching cycle isn't uh, at the exact same depth, then you'll see the different shades of, of etching. And that just proves to you, you can see like right there, a comparison of that different darkness that you're achieving between etches. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about tumbling. This is my tumbler setup. It is a very inexpensive Harbor Freight vibratory tumbler. Um, it's, it was like 180 bucks or something like that. And I believe that Harbor Freight sells tumbling media themselves, but I got this from McMaster car. I think it's probably a little bit higher grade. So this is ceramic tumbling media. It comes in different shapes and different sizes. So in this setup, I've got three different shapes and sizes, as you can see here. And all the variety does is just give you a, a different look in your stonewash. Your stonewash look is going to depend on a lot of things, but it's also going to depend on your tumbling media. If the media is all the same, then you'll have a more consistent looking finish. If you've got different shapes and sizes, you might have a more varied look. Um, well, that's all that that is. It's not something that you really need to look too hard into. Just order some different tumbling media. If you absolutely hate the look, then order a different type of tumbling media. So I've got all of the media wet and I'm, I'm going to add a little bit more water to it also. Um, and once I place this knife in here, I am going to watch the clock because if you tumble too much, then it, it doesn't look good. You don't have the contrast. It takes away too much of the acid etch. Of course, if you don't tumble enough, then it just looks like an acid etch blade with a few scratches on it. So I've typically found that if I'm doing like one or two knives in here at a time, about one and a half minutes or so is when I'm going to start checking it. If I'm putting in 12 knives at a time in here, then it takes longer. Something that you need to experiment with. It could also change with your tumbler. For me, I'm going to start off with about a minute, minute and a half, and then start looking at it. been 90 seconds now. I'm going to find this knife and check it out. You can see there, that's a pretty good contrast to me. Let's dry this off and see what it looks like. Here's that stone wash look, 90 seconds in the tumbler, and this is what I'm going for. Put some WD on here and make it pop. To me, it looks kind of like granite or marble. This really nice, shiny look to it. Now that this knife is finished up, I've got quite a few other knives that I need to uh, stone wash here, so I'm going to get cracking on that. 
But I did want to share with you how I do this. It's very, very simple. It's just a few different steps, a few different nuances that you can adjust if you want to. It alters the way that it looks, but the basis of it is take it up to a high grit, acid etch it, and then tumble it. And if you don't want to buy the tumbler like that and you just want to get a taste of stone washing a knife, you can use a water bottle or Tupperware or something like that. You can fill it with gravel from your driveway or if you do want to buy the media, you can fill that homemade tumbler up with actual media and then just shake it around. Um, but the thing is that that won't give you as even of a finish, especially if it's a water bottle, if it's something long, you're going to get more of a linear scratch pattern. Um, and whereas with a vibratory tumbler, it's all, it's, it's all around that piece and it's constantly vibrating around it. So it's giving you a more even pattern, but a good way to get into it is to just fill up something with rocks, <laughs> put a knife in there and shake it around and experiment with it. So I hope that you enjoyed that video and learned something from it. Me personally, stone washed finished blades is one of my favorite finish just because it looks so cool, but also it's a very durable finish because if you scratch the blade, all it does is add to the finish. You just added another scratch on there. So um, if you did enjoy it or if you have any questions about stone washing that I didn't address in this video, you can ask in the comments below and be sure to share with your friends because that really helps us a lot and allows us to make more videos. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.